how to balance the hourglass body shape. We're all built slightly different. And although I don't like the idea of labeling bodies because there are so many nuances in body shapes, I still think it's important to understand why some clothes works better on us than others. Hi, I'm Silvana, and today we're gonna talk about how to balance the beautiful hourglass body shape. First and foremost, the number one rule for any body type is that the garment should finish at the narrowest part of your body. That said, if you further want to master the art of dressing for the hourglass body shape, then keep on watching. While other body types have to balance their body shape, hourglasses have a pretty balanced body shape already. The main challenge for hourglasses is fit. Although the body type is considered the feminine ideal, nothing seems to fit right. Button front shirts pull across the bust and pants gape at the waist. And that's because the fashion industry doesn't cater for curves. So don't think that there's something wrong with you. It's the industry. Luckily, there are ways to get around it and make this beautiful body shape even more beautiful. And now we will illustrate how it can be confusing because although I'm technically an hourglass body shape, because I have my shoulders in line with my hips combined with a smaller waist, I have a smaller bust, what's not typical to an hourglass. And I'm not a pair either because I have stricter shoulders. So what I'm gonna do here is to dress by body parts and give you tips along the way. So if you defer slightly, you're gonna be able to adjust to your own body type. So let's get started. But as per usual, I don't want this to be rigid rules to follow. I want you to develop a critical sense when it comes to style. The two F words when it comes to any body shape is fabric and fit and it's even more important for hourglasses. Size and color are only secondary. Regardless of one's body shape, the goal is to mimic the perfect hourglass shape, which is shoulders in line with the hips combined with a defined waist. But let's not forget the body proportion, which is often neglected. And that is crucial for the overall balance of the body, in addition to the body shape. So we have to consider whether we have a short, long, or normal torso because that will determine if you're gonna wear high rise, low rise, if you're gonna tuck in our top or leave it untucked. The golden rule. The key to dressing to our glass is to follow the natural silhouette of the body by proportionally dressing the top and the bottom part of the body while highlighting the waist. You need to ensure you don't unbalance the body frame by making it top or bottom heavy. When the bust line sags, Hourglasses feel heavier and boxy. A great bra will do more for your wardrobe than anything else. The most important part of the bra is the band. So I see lots of clients with huge deep marks on their shoulders, meaning that the bra is relying too much on the strap, which shouldn't be the case. So when you're trying on a bra, take off the strap, put them on the side. If the band alone supports the majority of the breast, then it's the right bra. If it's not supporting at all, it's not the right bra. The strap should be only be a supporting role. It shouldn't sustain the entire weight of the breast on its own. Choosing the right underwear as well is, is really important. A bikini or hipster are great options because they provide moderate coverage while accentuating your curves. Also bat in body suits and shapewear. They will provide added support and coverage to your stomach area while smoothing out and defining your waistline. Hourglasses often want a floaty, oversized, boho style, in theory. In reality, these styles hide your curves and make you look boxy. Therefore, the choice of fabrics will play a crucial role. Knit tops are ideal for hourglasses because they have midweight fabrics, they define your curves instead of hanging straight like woven tops do. If you don't want a bodycon fit, you still look for a knit, but choose lighter, drapier fabrics instead of fitted items with high stretch. Look for blouses and tops with wrapped weights, belts, peplums, or rushing to highlight your shape. For those with larger busts, 
watch out for larger pockets on your chest or extra imbalances between your shoulder and your bust. Avoid a horizontal line across the widest part of your hips by having your top end a little above or a little below your widest spot. A lightweight form-fitting sweater is the best option, especially since it highlights your curves. Lightweight fabrics and fine knits will complement your shape by highlighting your silhouette. Avoid chunky heavy knits and oversized sweaters that hide the natural hourglass shape. Form-fitting and belted jackets are great. Single-breasted jackets are best since they aren't as shapeless as double-breasted jackets. Jackets that stop right at the hip accentuate your curves, so bear that in mind. If you are petite, stick to shorter jackets that end above your hips. Avoid trending boxy styles as these don't show your waist and so make you appear heavier. Steer clear of heavy detailing that let you appear too heavy. The best jackets and coats for hourglass have lots of vertical and princess seams. Belted jackets and coats are also great options. Avoid round color, boxy jackets, and beware of jackets with breast pockets. A high-rise jean or trouser will draw the eye to your waist, which is naturally your narrowest point, but be cautious if you have a short torso. Wide-legged and loose-fitting trousers in fluid fabrics that go straight down to the floor are best. Slightly tapered pants are also good trousers. Look for pants labeled curvy fit to solve the gap in the back problem, or pants that have adjustable waistband. I find this genius. Hourglass can wear most types of pants. The slimmer the fit, the curvier you look. Because your goal is to maintain the balance, consider your tops so you don't become top or bottom heavy. Look for pants with diagonal front pockets or no pockets at all, as side entry pockets tend to pull and pucker. To elongate your legs, match your shoes to your hem light if you're wearing pants, or to your skin if you're wearing dresses and skirts. Skirts that define your shape without adding bulk are an easy choice. Try pants with skirts, A-lines, and skirts cut on the bias. Our glasses can also wear fuller skirts to highlight their small waists. Look for circle or pleated skirts. Remember, pleats should always start at your smaller point. They should sit directly on your waist, and your top should be fully or partially tucked. The best curtain dress length for your shape is at the narrowest point of your legs, which typically is just above the knee or mid-calf. Plain dresses that will just follow your curves without adding to them and highlight your waist are perfect. Shift and wrap dresses are great as they create a nice silhouette, accentuate the waist and tailor the midriff without making it too boxy. Ruffle details and padded shoulders are great for a pear body shape and give structure to a round shoulder. Opt for A-line skirts in dresses as they bypass the hip area while cinching the waist at the same time. Avoid dresses with a straight line or boxy cuts since they cover your curves. And steer clear of embellishments or pockets in either the hip or shoulder area. With shorts, length and fabric are even more important. You can see here that the shorts on the left and that the widest part of my legs, which combined with the pleats, make me bigger. Although the one in the middle has a good length, the fabric is too thick, which creates bulks around my hip area. The third one is way more slimming, and finishes at the thinnest part of my legs. Jumpsuits for the hourglass body shape should highlight the natural balance of the hourglass figure. Small pleats around the waist can give you a nipped-in look. Belted and form-fitting jumpsuits and play suits are the best to accent the natural body line. Higher neck lines like turtlenecks, mocks and crews flatter a small bust and longer neck while more open necklines like V's and scoops are better for a larger bust and shorter neck. Because hourglass bodies come in both variations, pick the neckline best for your upper body. Often hourglasses have slightly rounded shoulders. Setting sleeves and both neck tops will help you straighten the shoulder line. Drop shoulder styles will make your shoulders appear broader and rounded. 
The best type of sleeve is a fitted one. Satin sleeves work great as they follow the body's natural curve. If you opt for light shoulder enhancing sleeves, such as cap sleeves, Make sure to balance the extra volume, avoid embellishments as well as loose and wide sleeves that should draw the attention to the upper body. Don't go overboard with accessories. This is a delicate frame that can be easily overwhelmed. If you are an hourglass with full bust, be wary of big scarves and chunky necklaces. Instead, opt for necklaces that end above the bust line. On the other hand, if you have a small bust, then you can go with the statement and bold necklaces that fall right at the bust. If you want to go oversized, because I believe that there's room for everything, that's the beauty of the style, go for flowy styles and make sure that there is structure somewhere, like fetus leaves or a half tuck. To camouflage your tummy area while maintaining your curves, look for drapey or patterned tops under jackets that fall right at the waist and finally becomes bestie with a tailor. Because what I said earlier, chances are that the styles you get won't be catered to your curves. So in some cases, there's so much stretch can do. For things like button front shirts, for example, you might have to size up, but then you have to take it to a tailor to take in on the sides a little bit. Some extreme hourglasses may still find that they have a gap in the waist, even when they buy curvy styles. But I'm finding more and more styles with adjustable waist that I showed in some videos in the past. I'm finding this quite genius. These pants I'm wearing at the moment have adjustable waist and I tried one size down. It looked okay. This size is my normal size and it looked quite big at the waist, although it really looked nice around the hips. So the adjustable waist was the perfect solution. This is a straight leg pants, but they find that in Y leg pants. I'll put, I'll put the details in the description box below. But overall, a good tailor is still a great option to make your wardrobe feels like more customized for you. So that was it for today, everyone. I really hope you found this informative. And please leave a comment in the description box below if you like the tips or if you think that I forgot any tip. I really love interacting with you. And give this video a like and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao, everyone.